Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Danny Code, and we are continuing on with the Astrox Imperium playthrough here, and in this episode what I'd like to do is I'd like to... I'd like to take a little bit more deeper look at missions, or just at least try a lot of the other missions that we haven't really been doing. I've been doing a lot of combat missions, but the combat missions that I've been doing have been the raider missions. So there's also, hopefully I can get a lot more of these now that I have a little bit more experience behind me and we have a little bit more uh, mapped out and whatnot. So we have a good amount of the local area here mapped out. So we have just a ton of systems that we can choose from. So hopefully that gives us a little bit more of a, of a variety of missions. I know I did, um, I did a, an assassination mission not too long ago but that I didn't record it, but we're going to be looking for another one of those as well. So, for example, I think it is, let me see here, recover, kill pilot mission. So I think that would fall under the kill pilot missions. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, I know there's not a lot of missions here because we're kind of in the outskirts and we have some scan missions. Let me show you all here. So we have some locate, crate. We have a couple of crate, locates scans and track down a scan and transport so nothing too exciting there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop back over to hop back over to void star cross and just kind of look for missions there and if we don't find what we need there we can go to other stations and whatnot so all right so let's get out of the map let's go ahead I just want to really I've been kind of looking around the shipyards for another ship as well so we do have a quite a bit of money so i think we'll you know we'll concentrate also on getting our skills up our piloting skills up so we can actually grab a few of these because as you can see we don't have the skills to get this one and this one's a carrier so we would have to do our carrier skills or our assault i think it's carrier i think the top one is the one because if you look at the ship dock we have the utility skill to do this our current one so this is the top one so i'm pretty sure that's correct we'll have to figure that out so we don't have a university here all right so that's cool all right so let's make it back over to void start cross there just kind of find my buttons here <laughs> all right so i'm moving from game to game so the quick hotkeys kind of move around on me and I've really kind of settled into this into this configuration for for weapons for now. I think this pretty much does pretty well. So I'm going to be looking for some better lasers as well. So maybe looking at the university and seeing if we can't get our laser skill a little bit higher. And also our uh, launcher skill a little bit higher as well. So we'll be looking at that as well. So I think we have, what do we have here? We have a good amount of skill. Skills. Yeah, so we have 35 and we're just about, I mean, we're just 50 points away. If I'm looking at that right, 50 points away from leveling up. So we should have a little bit more skill points to work with there as well. I'm kind of curious, the shield plus 10, I'm going to keep an eye on this as well. So I think this levels up as well, maybe. I'm not too sure when you level up. So it's plus 10 now and plus 3. So we'll look at that when we do level up. All right, so we're at Void Star Cross. Let's turn down time a little bit. Let's just go to the Biomate University because that seems to be like a good baseline for everything. Kind of has a little bit of everything, but the, like the lower levels from what I've noticed. So it doesn't really specialize in anything. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, oh, first thing I want to do, let's go ahead and look at the university no not university i was just there i want to look at missions there we go that's the one so let's see we have so we've been doing these and we're pretty versed on this so this is just basically shoot and kill the raiders and we don't have okay so here we go so hunt down so these are pretty cool so hunt down low level miner so we're definitely going to take some of these and these are pretty high up there as far as cost this one is not too high up there but that's I'm not really sure what that is why that's the case mission level five mission level five 
base payment, cargo faction bonus, bounty bonus, insurance, space required. So I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's just the level of hostile that you're going to have to en encounter. Maybe that's the... Uh, let's see here. Hold on. <laughs> Mission type, kill. Rating requirement bonus, negotiation bonus, cargo value, skill point, mission time, faction science, faction rating already. So, okay, so I'm not really seeing anything different there too. So I'm not really sure why these are priced differently. Uh, again, I'm just, I'm, I suspect that, that the level of thing that you're going to kill, like your hostile, is probably a little higher on these. I assume that that's what's going on. I'm not really sure. If you guys see it, then then uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm not really seeing it here. Last known sighting, minor, shadow. Okay, so this, so they're both in sectors that require exploring, so that's not it. Okay. So we'll probably take, let's just take one of these. We'll take this one actually. So we'll accept that mission. And this is for civil and one is for science. So we might just take both. Let's just take one for now, accept that mission. And let's see what else we have here. So we have kill pilots. This is recover. We don't have any of those. So we do have reclaim a medium shipment crate of, okay, so we'll take that one as well. We're gonna have to look at, so we need 202 meters squared in our cargo and we don't, we definitely don't have that right now. So I think what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and sell this junk as well. We don't need any of that. So actually, we need, we'll keep the missiles, but let's just sell all this stuff because we don't need this hanging out and costing us. I think we it costs us a little bit of money to keep stuff in here. This is the station storage, by the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I, I definitely want missiles, but let me see. So I think it is if you hold down the control key and then do that no that's not it so if you hold down the alt key is it there we go so if you hold down the alt key then you can pick how much you want to split so you can split the inventory for whatever it is so very useful that so that has given us a lot more cargo so that will definitely be good now i know that i have let's just look at the garage real quick i have a empty passive slot so we can put another advanced cargo expansion in there i'd really like to level up so i can get like a level four so we, we could, we're just level three right now so i'd like to level up our skill that will allow us to level up into the next one but for now we can do an advanced one uh, let's see if we have one here and that's going to be in the passive uh, let's do where is it Cargo expansion, improved advanced mass reduction. Well, that's not going to do us. Ah, here we go. So we'll just, oops. I'm trying to drag it and drop it, but that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> All right, so we'll take that. Let's go ahead and add that on to our doohickey. We have 711.1 right now. So that increased it quite a bit. So that's awesome. Okay. So that's good. So, yeah. All right. So we're ready to do those two missions now. I think I can only have two missions at the moment. Let me see here. I think we have... Let's see here. Fleet Commander. Max Mission Contacts. So we have, I think, just one... max mission contacts so we just have plus one so we can take two so i'd like to maybe buff that up a little bit as well but for now let's go ahead and do we're gonna do the hunt down low level officer officer <laughs> hello officer 
I'm not drunk. Officer DV, let's call him DV Shivies, and Solitudes of Frey. So let's look where that is. Solitudes of Frey. Um, all right, let's do this. Let us do this. So, what is it? Solitudes. That should get us close enough, right? Solitudes of Frey. So where is that? That is... There it is. Alright, cool. So let's go do our thing. Um, I do want to look at our modules. Let's go ahead and repair all our modules. There we can. Repair that one as well. I don't think these need repairing, no. So that should, just in case we need a little extra firepower, not extra firepower, but if we're out there for a little bit longer, then we will not have a damaged module. Okay, let's get on here. And all right, so how far do we gotta go, by the way? Probably not too far, yeah, so one, two, three jumps. All right, let's speed up time, as you do. So yeah, so uh, yeah, I've I've really stuck to kind of doing the same missions. I'm really big into the combat missions, so like the assassination or the hunt down missions are pretty cool. Um, I do know that the assassination mission. So I was firing at a friendly. I don't know if this mission is going to be the same thing. Like we were firing at a friendly, but if we do need to fire at a friendly, there is a if we hover down here, there's a toolbar. So it's kind of like the Windows toolbar on the bottoms if you have it on hover, that if you go down to it, and it'll, it'll come up. But we have this toggle friendly fire. So if we have to fire at something friendly, then we'll toggle this. Now, the important part is you need to untoggle that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that'll get you into trouble if you do not. I'm kind of curious. What is this stuff? Looking or huh. I wanted to do an episode on trade as well. So... Like, I want to do, like, doing ore from places and bringing it up to other places and seeing how well, how fast that can actually get us, um, get us money. So basically, like, a uh, financial, like, making money sort of episode. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on our weapons and make sure that our toggle friendly, because he is friendly, it looks like. And we will uh, hunt him down. I hope. I'm thinking that we're not going to get any retribution from anything else in the sector, but we may, since we're firing at something friendly here. I'm not too sure how that works. The last assassination mission that I got, um, it was okay, so we didn't we didn't get any retribution. Like we didn't like the police were coming after us, <laughs> so we were okay. Um, I probably should have talked to this guy first, but that's all right. We are just here here to kill him. We are not asking questions on that. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> okay. Sure. No thanks. Thanks. Bye. And... Alright. So yeah, he's going down pretty quick. He may actually go ahead and... What else is in this sector? So yeah, he may like dock at the sector. So I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I know the assassination mission, I know I keep saying about assassination mission, but one thing I noticed is that the he was docking and coming back out, so that may be an issue here as well. But it looks like we're pretty good. And by the way, it looks like, and I didn't even know this, like, I guess that's kind of part of the tutorial. Oh, there we go. So we have leveled up. Um, that you can actually talk to NPCs and get like the skinny on things. So I guess that's part of the learning thing. I didn't even know that. I was kind of doing it on my own, kind of learning on my own by trial and error. But if you talk to some of these guys, like this guy will, will tell you about certain things, certain aspects of the game, which is pretty cool. I like it. And he is almost dead. Yeah, I really like this, this setup for this type of weapons. So let's go turn off, because he's the only one we're going to kill. Let's toggle off that. 
and we should be able to so there's a couple crates he threw off um, I'm gonna s s zoom out here see if there's anything red like any red hostile target so so nothing it looks like nothing's coming after us so I think we're safe there uh, we only have four minutes of life support so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these crates see what's in them uh, probably nothing good but that's okay yeah and we're just going to go ahead then and dock at Monarch Security before our life support runs out and then we'll go and get our payment for killing that guy let's kind of zoom over there nice looking station there okay so let's go ahead and just go to the market and sell this junk that we got probably not gonna get 25 bucks whatever um, it's better than a kick in the head I guess <laughs> but yeah so that's pretty cool so cool 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 all right so let's go get payment for that hunt down low level officer to temple and return to temple of the void temple of the void temple of the void so I've gone and if I don't actually see it real quick then what I do is I'll go and do a search I've been getting into this habit here so Temple of the Void. Oh, it's telling the stations there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I was wondering why it was doing it twice, so that'll tell you what stations there. Huh. I guess. Whatever. Okay, so Temple of the Void. Where was it? I don't know. Oh, Valley of Truths. Uh, okay. So, uh, reading comprehension there, Danny. So this is the one we want. Okay. So we want to go to the Valley of the Truths. There we go. And then Temple of the Void in that. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's correct. Oops. And let's go ahead and undock and scoot on over there. So very cool. Yeah, so let me know if you guys want to see like a uh, uh, how to gain money really quick kind of episode. And I'll put something like that together, I think, maybe the next time. Because really, I think my best bet with my gameplay, the way I like to do it, is right now, I mean, we have just a ton of money, right? And that's because of all the combat missions. So I think the really, it's going to be a short episode of me just saying, take combat missions. <laughs> that's the way to make money the fastest. For me, anyway, is the easiest way. So, And I think the funnest way. So, But I haven't really explored like mining and things like that. So, I mean, I've explored it a little bit, but not a lot bit. So this guy is far away. Just a couple more jumps. Okay. I thought we were getting close. I guess not. But yeah, so, but there's, uh, you know, there's a ton of extra uh, ways to make money on this game, so, which is really cool. So it's, this game is like however you want to play it, basically. So true open world. I really can't wait for the storyline to come out, like more story missions and things like that. So I think that'll be fun, fun, fun. All right, so we need to go to Temple of the Void. That be the one, guys. And it's very close. Cool. Another thing I'd like to see, like, um, and I'll just do it really quick, or say it just right after this. Um, so yes, we got five skill points for that and a whole bunch of money. So what I, the other thing I'd like to see is like when I'm going around and flying around, I use the turbo function a lot. So the the, the time times three. So this game speed turbo is a, I would like a option for that to turn off automatically when I dock at a station. Like I'd like that, I mean, maybe not by default, but like go into the options and check that off, like have that be an option. That would be really cool because I keep on forgetting it. Literally, I keep on forgetting it. So anyways, that's just a convenience, but uh, that'd be cool. All right, so I'm just gonna check the shipyard as I do when I go into these places and just kind of look at what's going on. Ooh, this is nice. 
That's a pretty, pretty bird. Pretty bird. And that would really... That would really be nice. Because we have four extra slots, two extra... There are four extra hardpoint or turret slots, two extra uh, passive module slots, and a whole bunch of cargo. And it's a destroyer. Nice. Let's look at this one. It's a carrier. Destroyer, carrier. That's very nice, too. I like it. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to design your own ships in here, and I haven't explored that as well. But I know... I think there's some place in it. I don't know if it's, like, in-game... But I think you can design your own ships somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah, I heard that something. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, do we have anything else here? Is that it? It's a nice utility class. I can grab that one, but it's going to be kind of smaller than what I have right now. And that's definitely no. That's pretty cool, though. It looks, looks like it has wings on it, or uh, sails I should say. It's a, it's a shuttle. That's pretty cool, I like these whiskers. I like that. Alright, very cool. So is there anything else we want to look at here? No Sree Bobski. Alright, so let's go and look at the map, and where do we want to go for our next mission? What was our next mission? Oh, did we even take it? I thought we took it. I thought we took the other mission. I guess we didn't take it. I, I apologize. Oh, that's right, because I was making room. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Because I was making room, and then I just completely forgot to take it, didn't I? Okay, well, let's head on back over to Void Starcross. And let's go ahead and see what other missions we got. Ooh, what? Oh, I should have looked at the rocks there. What do we got here? Atomite. Got plenty of that in our home system. Speed up time here a little bit. Again, putting on the turbo and then going into a station after you're done, the turbo stays on. It's a, it's a shame that that doesn't uh, update. <laughs> That'd be nice. Or even when the autopilot when you get to your destination like we are now, then that would turn it off. That would be pretty cool as well. All right, let's go to, let's go back to Biomate. Let's see if we have any other kind of good missions. And there, where's our station? I know we have a station here somewhere. There it is, <laughs> just passed us by the little station. Our little mining, mining silo. Okay, so we have just a ton of points now. So I really want to get, here's destroyer operation, dreadnought, cruiser, carrier. What else do we have here? So this is pilot. So that's where those are going to be. Escort, frigate utility. So I have cruiser unqualified. What do I need for that? Carrier ship. Okay. So we need to do carrier ship first and then destroyer. Cruiser. So cruiser Where's cruiser? Cruiser, then carrier, then destroyer. It would be nice if there was a like a little roadmap of what you gotta do here. But this definitely we'll do that one. So we still have 48. And once we get done with that, I think I wanna do I'm not really too sure here. 
Dreadnought. We need Battle Cruiser for Dreadnought. Battle Cruiser is. We need Destroyer. And again, for Destroyer, we need uh, Carrier. And for Carrier, we need Cruiser. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't know that, so I thought these were all like separate classifications, but you have to level up in like a tiered way. Okay, so we do we can do carrier. Let's do that. That'll give us 27. So that took a lot, actually. And all right, for now, that's good. So that'll give us a few more options when we are looking around. What do we have here, by the way? Probably nothing all that great because again we're in our starting sector I mean this is the best we can do here and that's not all that great that's gonna give us a little bit more storage but lots lot, uh, less passive modules and yeah I'm not too fond of that so all right all right all right all right let's look at the missions as we do and what was that other one that other one was so we did we did the hunt down yeah here it is so we'll do this one so we'll grab that one now and let's see what else we have here we have escort missions now i think i've done one of these before but we'll do another one of them um these are kind of a little not boring but they're kind of okay they're okay so i would say like they're low pain and I would say we're, we're not going to do the alphas because the alpha faction we're, we're very much, you know, we're in line with already. So let's go ahead and make sure that we boost up our science so we can do science here. So that'll help us with the science factions. We'll look at that as well. And I think we can only do the two. So these are mining ones. These are scanning. So mining, scanning, scan pilot. So scan structure, scan pilot. This is transport. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I don't think we can. So yes, yeah, so we need to upgrade our missions. I wonder if we have enough. I wonder if we have enough for our skill set here. Let's see, that's fleet, that's pilot. Now I need ship. Hmm, I forgot what this is. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so we have enough to max mission contact, so we'll go ahead and do that. That'll take about two minutes. So the next time we go out, we can actually put on three instead of two. All right, so let's take care of these real quick. This is reclaim medium shipment crate in Rats of Mortalis. Okay, so Rats of Mortalis, so Mappy Poo and Rats of Mortalis. There we go. So, and again, I use these pretty extensively as well. So they're they're pretty uh, pretty useful. Rats of Mortalis, that's the one. All right, so let's scoot on over there. And we need 200, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And I think we're good. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to get into too many fights. So I think we're we think we're we'd be good with just uh, just under 600 of the missiles. We should be fine. Um, oh, mission contact. So we have already done that. So max mission contact. So here we go again. So I thought that would take two minutes, but we're on turbo, and obviously. It only took a minute. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So we can't take another mission. What do we want to do? We want to do... What is this? This is transport. So we can do it... What do we got now? We have... Reclaim. And an escort. And then we'll do a... Let's do a transport. We'll do, again, science. It's low pain. We're not really aching for money, so we should be okay. So I just want to boost up my relations with whatever factions I can. So we're, we'll do this one as well. All right, so there we go. So now we are full up of missions. And you can also, I think, look in here 
and look at your missions as well. So this is pretty cool. So let's look at time. So if I was going to do this by time, so time remaining two hours, 20 minutes. So we have less time to do this one. So this one's obviously at the top. So I think we're going to do this one first. So yeah, we'll do that one. Okay, so right. So where is that in our mission? There it is. Okay. So this is again rats. So this is one we were looking at anyways. And we are and that'll just bring us here back here anyways. Cool. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Speed them up. And it doesn't have too many jumps, I don't think. Just one, two. Okay. We'll be there in a shake of a lamb's butt. All right, and these missions, you know, they're they're pretty good, and you can make some good money on them, but they're eh, they're okay to me. I I think with probably the story mode that's coming out, I don't know if it's story mode or whatever, but whatever story that's going to be coming out, will probably these missions will make more sense. It'll be a little bit more exciting, maybe, like something like this. If we were going to reclaim something. Like maybe it was being guarded by raiders or something. That would make it exciting. <laughs> that would be cool, actually. All right, so let's zip on up there. Put our afterburners on. And might as well do turbo as well. Okay. And there it is. And our that's successful. All right, so we got that. But before we go back and find and get our reward, let's go ahead and start our other missions here. So transport, had to service corporate center, and void star cross. I should have actually did this. Um, okay, so let's just go back to void star cross and do that. Um, map, there we go. All right, so I think one of our other, oh, so this is in the same sector. Okay, so we can just knock this one out once we get to Void Starcross. So cool. That works for me. A little easy money. Very, very cool. And I'd like to, I, I keep forgetting to look at also the, the lounge edge station that I go to because I'd like to get, I think, I think, you know, the mercs, I don't know how many different mercs we have, but I know we have the combat ones, the pirate ones, the, the uh, recon, and the mining. And I think there might be some other ones, I'm not too sure. Okay, so we need to go to corporate center, Sarbeek's corporate center pick up some junk and bring it down over to Proctor Center. But yeah, I'm um, the Mercs like I'd like to I think there's more. I don't know if there's a list somewhere of, of the type of Mercs. But uh, yeah. All right, so here's our cargo. So we'll put that in there. All right, so we got those two. And the other thing We need to get, we need to do the escort. And this is from Proctor Center and Void Star Cross. So once we go to Proctor Center and drop the stuff off, we will go ahead and escort him. So yeah, logistics, baby, logistics. 
So let's go over to Proctor Center and drop off. I like when it works out that way. <laughs> That's really, really pretty cool. So once we get over to Proctor Center, we can drop off our light blades here and then pick up our escort and escort him wherever he goes. And then we'll drop off our whatever these are, proto beams. Proto beams. All right. Very blue looking station that. All right. So head to Starbase Corporate Center invoice. So we got that. And now we should have, yeah. So now we have our escort. This guy, we're escorting this. What is that? That's neat. Uh, we're escorting this guy to wherever he's going. Okay. And that is. to Valley of Truth. We know where that is. We've been there before. <laughs> Valley of Truth. There it is. All right. Let us undock. Is there a undock key, like hotkey? That would be cool. And for these escort missions, you don't have to worry. They'll, they'll follow you. Like I know they're like way behind and that really concerned me before, but they, they will follow you no matter how fast you go. Pretty much. I think <laughs> I have found no problems with it yet. So let's just put it that way. Although my ships aren't incredibly quick comparatively, I think, but I think, uh, it's set up. So they, they just follow you. Okay, so we need to go to Temple of the Void. Yes, we've been there before as well. Scoot on over there. There's our escort. Or there's our escortee. Is it escort? We're the escort, and he's the escortee, right? I think. <laughs> yeah, because we're escorting. Okay, and there we go. So we got that. Two skill points. Very cool. And then uh, we just need to drop off our proto beams to Temple of the Void in Vindicati, Vindicati, whatever. So that should be on the map as well. There it is. All right. So this is Temple of the Void, and then there's another Temple of the Void in a different sector. I get it. Okay. Let's just look here. How much time do we have? We have two hours and ten minutes, so we should be okay. So let's go ahead and look at Yon Shipyard. Ooh. Yeah, we already looked at these, didn't we? Yeah, of garlic bread. Please. Thank you very much. Oh, can I have a starter salad as well? Thanks. <laughs> now I'm freaking hungry. Uh, I know what I'm having for dinner. I think I only have... I think I only have just like pasta and sauce, but still. You do what you do. You do what you can. All right, so one more jump to Vindicati, then we'll go to Temple of the Void there. Turned off the turbo. Ooh, that pretty neat. We did a <laughs> we did a triple Lundy coming out of that thing. All right, let's go to Temple of the Void, and turn on Yon Turbos. Okay, and there we go. So, very cool. Made a little bit of do re mi. Got some skill points going on there. What, what, are we, what are we, how are we looking for skill points, by the way? So, skill points, 22. All right, whatever. Um, let's go to the, as we do, let's go to the, do we have one? We don't have one. We don't have a shipyard here. Let's go to the lounge, though. Let's look at our mercs. 
So pirate and transfer, there's a transport one as well. So what are these good for? Transport ships are used mainly to move goods. Okay, so if you're doing a lot of trading, then that would be the way to go, I guess. And pirate, let me look at the description. The salt ship is designed to be a fast moving combat strike craft, improved thrust and yeah, okay. So I'm kind of curious what the difference is between the pirate and the combat. I know we have a combat and a pirate, so I'd like to go and kind of look at that as well. But uh, yeah, so so far we found another one, so a transport. So now we have pirate combat, transport, mining, oh god, mining and uh, recon. Recon, all right, so let's go back to, hmm. do I wanna go back all the way back to Void Starcross or not? Yeah, because I wanna grab my missiles as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I wish there was a home button, <laughs> just so you can automatically do an autopilot home. That would be neat. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. So that's a, like a dynamic, a dynamic thing for this sector. Oh, let's look what this is. Loken, Loken ore. I wonder if there's a Thor ore. <laughs> All right, um, let's get there. How, much, how far do we gotta go? Uh, just a few jumps. No big thing. Is there anything here? Doesn't look like there's really anything there. Um, let me go ahead and turn off that. Let's slow down. What do we have here? So we have. Oh, no, oh, want to go back? Back, back with, back with you, boy. Let's just kind of look. Let's go to which one of these are closer. So let's just go look at these stations real quick. See if there's anything a little bit, a little bit more interesting for stuff. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm kind of window shopping for ships here. Yeah, and let's look at the lounge. Mining support. Okay, so here's a different one. So here's the support. So the support ship is used to provide assistance during mining and combat operations, improved life support systems, a strong energy core. Okay, so that's interesting. I'm not really sure how I would use that. I mean, yeah, okay, support while doing that, but does that support ship can we can we use that to boost up our support life support systems on our ships like the other ships um, interested in knowing although these do have this one actually has a good amount of weapons on it got a launcher a howitzer <laughs> nice another launcher cannon a couple lasers and uh, level six, level seven, nice. Level six. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And mining, that's pretty self explanatory, right? All right, so there's that. Let's look at the shipyard. What do we have here? Ugh, nothing all that great. It's utility. And the frigate. No, nah, nothing. Nothing better than what I have. I really, I really lucked out on the ship that I'm flying right now. I think it's a damn good ship. All right, so let's go to let's go to the university to kind of see what's there. Do we have anything good? Nothing. Nothing that I can, yeah, nothing that I want there, definitely. All right, let's get out of here. Go to the other station, see what's there. Hopefully I can get a good ship. I'm gonna have to go, I think a couple couple more 
sector is kind of out, I think, to find a good find a good ship. Something that'll be a lot better than this one, or be a very solid upgrade instead of just a sort of upgrade. All right, so let's go to the shipyard first. Nothing really great here. We got a nice pirate carrier. That would be fun. That could be our next upgrade right there. So this is Star Shepherd's hub. And he has a pirate carrier. Very nice one, actually. It's this. This is also nice. And this is a uh, carrier. So, carrier though, this is, you know, so we can handle drones automatically. So we don't have to have an extra, I think that means you don't have to have an extra uh, passive slot for drones. So we can actually just automatically have eight. So that is pretty cool. I like that compared to this one here. So this is six. So this is plus three plus one, plus three plus one. And this is plus 3,066. So this one has a little bit more storage. Okay, so this, let me look at the other stuff. So thrust, engine rate, so turn speed a little bit less, recharge is a little bit less, scan range a little bit more, speed is down, max targets is five, plus five. So it is 10, 10 plus, so we have five now, we would have double what we have now. So nine four plus one hundred. I like this one. <laughs> I like this one. I think I'm gonna buy this one. And what I'm gonna do? I like this one for a couple of reasons. One, I think it has a little bit better stats of what I'm looking for. Two, that it has uh, pirate sails and it's a pirate carrier. So I'd rather go out in a pirate carrier than a demi, <laughs> whatever that is. So I think we found our new ship. Yep, let's purchase that. Thank you, sir. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're on here right now. So what I'm gonna do is let's go to the garage. Let's take everything off that we can stick it in we don't want to stick it in the cargo bay we'll stick it in the storage here and everything that's in the cargo bay we'll stick it in the station storage so let's just take everything off there and then go to the life support and do the same so let's take that off that off that off and that we'll stick this down on the station cargo and so we pretty much basically stripped everything off our current ship. And what I'm going to do is now go back to, oh, it looks, looks naked without the turrets on it. <laughs> We're going to go back to the shipyard and go into the ship dock and we will activate this one. You have activated PCA pirate carrier, PCA one. Very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take a looky loo. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. I don't like it. Even looks kind of kind of like a pirate ship, like the sail mast and everything. Very cool. Yar, <laughs> yar. Okay, let's go to the garage. Look at all this. Holy cannoli. <gasps> yeah, we actually have a scroll bar. We have so many things. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and just put that on. But look at all the freaking cargo we have. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. I am super excited. So hopefully, so the only other thing here is that the electrical systems and things like that 
may not be as great. Where do we want to put this? Oh, it kind of looks good there, but let's go ahead. Let's test out here. Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> put our two Vita Blades. Where is that? That is... Where is it? There it is. So it's just right on the bottom there. Cool. So I would assume this one's going to be on the other side. No, where'd that one go? Where did it go? Oh, that was that? Oh, I see. We have to highlight it. Oh, so it's top there. Okay. No, I kind of went on on the side to balance off there. Well, that's the front. And that's the side. So, okay. So we have one on the side there. We have one on the side there. And then we have our launcher right up front. That works for me. Okay. So what else we have? So we just have the life support and advanced cargo bay. So we'll put that one on as well. Might as well. But now we have just a ton of cargo. We could probably just sell that and use it for something different. All right, let's go to life support. Stick on our diaper genie, our food, <laughs> our water filter, and our thermal regulator. I'm excited. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, and since we have in here in our shipyard, this has at the ship dock has our other ship. We're going to go ahead and transport this one once we get to Void Star Cross over to Bio University, Biomet University. All right, so let's do that. I'm excited. It's like I just got a new car and I want to kind of test it out. All right, so let's go over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty damn badass right there. I'm liking it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get over to Void Star Cross and have our ship come over to us on the station. So this is going, it's kind of going, it's not slow, but it's not going fast, that's for sure. So that's an issue. So we're going to have to go ahead and put on some passive modules that are a little bit faster than that. So let's go over to Biomate. Yeah, because it's kind of it's kind of slow. Like our other ship was a little bit more fast than that. A little bit faster than that. This reminds us of um, reminds me of the first ship that we had. Yeah, we're going super duper slow. Alright, so we'll have to take care of that situation. I know it's a bigger ship, so that's probably why. But definitely need to get the speed up there somehow. We have extra modules, but I think I'm going to look for stuff at the university as well to skill up. So maybe we can make it a little bit faster. Okay, so let's go to our shipyard and remote ships and this one, and we'll move to this station. All right, so right now, here's our basic escort. That's the one we started with. This is the one we were using. And this is the one we're in now. Here's our little mining one. So I'm just kind of curious here, just real quick. So where is the... One fifty six on thrust. This is thrust, so it doesn't say max speed. So I'm not sure how to find the max speed on these. So this does give a bunch of drone bonuses, so that's pretty cool. So we're going to have to look at getting some drones on us as well. So uh, obviously it's a carrier, so drones are very important. All right, so we were there. And I am excited. Okay. So very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take on one more mission here. What do we got for... Yeah, let's go ahead and do... Let's 
go ahead and do one of these. Or, wait a minute, this? Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. Just a regular old kill the raiders mission. We'll do that. And let's go to the market and see what we have for passive. So I know we need to go faster, so <laughs> let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I think thrusters or whatever. Energy, advanced thrust, advanced afterburner, but I think we want advanced thrust instead. So this will 30% of max thrust. So I think definitely we will do that. And... What is that? So this is... Oh, so this probably will help us go faster as well. Mass reduction. Huh. I'll have to look into that. Turn thrust. We already have a, a turn thrust, so... Okay, so I think that's good there. So let's look at the actives. Because we have... Let's look at the garage real quick. We have just a ton of stuff to put on here. Um, so we have... Let's go ahead and put this on. So that's all our passive right now. But that's fine. Let me just do this. So 97 base, 74 base. I'm looking down here, by the way. And that... This will bring it up to 97, so that's better. It's workable. Again, we'll have to maybe skill up as well. But uh, what was I looking at here? So active modules, so we have one, two, three to fill in. So what should we put in there? I think, oh, by the way, let's put those up there before we forget them. Let's go and find us some active modules. Now, here's the thing, I wonder should I make this like a multifunctional, get like scanners and things like that, or should I just make this really a combat? I think I'm just gonna make it a combat. So I don't really wanna do these. So definitely don't wanna do miners. And I think I'm gonna stick with the these are pretty good. So I think I'm gonna stick with these. Oh no, that's beam, I'm sorry. Let's stick with the, what do we What do we have on? We have the Lightblade X2, Lightblade X2, so. So the Lightblade X1 and the Lightblade X2. So let's buy two more of those. Oops. And then let's buy one more. Should we do one of these? Another one of those? So basically tripling what we, or doubling what we have. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the garage. Not putting too much thought into this, so we're just gonna let's see where that one is. That one, and is this one next to it? Or is that one next to it? There it is. So we have those two, and then this one is there. So we have one of the launchers there, one of the launchers there, and the rest are all the Okay, cool. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Yeah, that gives it a lot of boost to the drones. Nice. Okay. So, mission. Kill two raiders. Let's go kill two raiders, baby. And where are we going? We're going to... Velishar. All right, so this should be a fast little jump over there. Let's go kick some butt. Hehe, <laughs> look at him. 
Now with all of these, I'm going to have to go ahead and do, which one is it here? Open all panels, close all panels, now I want all modules on, so this one here. So this is the one that we're going to be doing right before battle. Yeah, so what's our top speed? Well, it's not too bad. That's acceptable. Could be a little bit better, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so here we are. Let's go kill us some raiders. And we're going to do turn all modules on. And this should be pretty quick work, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's get close to him. Let's put our afterburners on. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see this thing coming at me either. It's like a little gunship. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at all that. Damn. It's going to be quick work out of this guy. And we only got two of these. So I think the other thing is the turning radius, because it's a bigger ship as well, is a little bit slower. But we're kicking ass. Hell yeah. Alright, where's the other guy? There he is. Nope. That was the wrong one. Let's actually, no. Do that. Oh, they killed him already. Okay. Well, you guys took all the fun out of what I was going to do. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's see what we got for loot. Probably nothing good, but that's okay. Um... Is it just this one? I guess it's just this one. Just this one. I don't see any other loot. Maybe it's because I didn't kill it. That I didn't get the loot. But I'm just seeing the one. Alright. Let me take a look at the scrap. <laughs> the scrap. Okay. Let's turn off all our modules. And gather what we're going to gather. Got a few things there. Not a big deal. All right, guys. I think I'm going to leave it there. And I uh, definitely going to put together maybe a making money quickly episode in the next episode. Or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this one. And if you want to be notified when there's more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and, there we go, <laughs> I thought I'd double click that. And hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when there's more. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. And uh, I will see everybody very, very soon. Bye for now, guys.